right, guys. It is unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous. I mean, over the top beautiful. Winter day today here in paradise in the Point Lonesome Swamp. <clears throat> in the oasis of freedom. It is a Friday morning, a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful Friday morning. That would be December 24th, Christmas Eve. And uh, as I sink deeper and deeper into this, uh, into the single most brutal depression, that I've been in. When was the last time I was this depressed? I think I was in Paonia, Colorado. That would have been seven and a half years ago. So uh, I'm afraid that uh, some of you are getting a little, a little upset by my chronicle of my uh, my downfall. So, uh, since I don't want a harsher mellow, uh, what am I going to talk about today? We're going to talk about Dulcinea today. Uh, I noticed that Dulcinea has uh, put out 30 videos so far. So far, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning and she has 30 videos out today including two of them dedicated to me. So I guess I will just dedicate this uh, video to Dulcinea. So uh, <clears throat> as some of you might uh, know, uh, Dulcinea re-entered my life when was it Ugh, that Sandy <coughs> had to let me know for the second time in her life that Dulcinea was back on YouTube and she is back with a vengeance and so I was actually making progress I was making progress getting this woman out of my life uh, for the past several months was finally getting to go, you know, maybe three hours in my life without thinking of Dulcinea. Now she is back with a vengeance. And uh, it's been a, I, I, and, and I'm not sitting here and blaming Maggie. Now, now guys, I am not on any level blaming Maggie for the, uh, th this black hole that I have descended into uh during the past week although maggie has certainly been i have probably spent more time with maggie in, in the past week than, than any other human being on the planet but it, it's been a very weird uh new step in the evolution of our uh, convoluted uh, what, whatever you call the, the thing that going on between me and Maggie, uh, <coughs> where I can finally step back. I, I really can, guys. I, I'm, and, and it's, and it's no longer as I watch this woman's video, she's probably put out 200 videos, uh, in the past nine or ten days I'm guessing 200 videos uh, so I have spent more time with this woman on one level than any other human being on the planet uh, but the whole balance has shifted and so now I can look at this woman a little bit more objectively and obviously what I am uh, doing is making it all about me. And I am, I am watching this woman with, uh, you, you know, my, my jaw on the ground. Uh, 
you know, just analyzing myself, just making myself more more miserable, just just thinking, how did I ever let this person get under my skin? And 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 I'm and I'm viewing these videos, and Maggie, I do appreciate uh, w w with each passing video. Uh, you, you know, I, I understand more and more that the, the very idea, the very idea <laughs> that you, that you were, were going to be uh, the woman that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, uh, you are certainly doing a good job of drumming that uh, bizarre fantasy uh, out of my head forever, but it's just making me, you know, just, just question uh, on, on the most fundamental level how I could be so wrong about another human. I've been emailing with one of my buddies very weird series of emails that we've been sharing about Maggie, how, how all of these other men, all of these other men can go on and, and you, you know, just barely, what was it that my buddy said? He said he looked under the hood, just barely looking under the hood of of Maggie and, and slamming the hood down and, and, and it's just so apparent to to every other man that this woman is dangerous that she is uh, the word he used and and, and, and and if I use the word he used it would be misunderstood but I'm gonna use it he used the word toxic, that this woman is, you know, so toxic that one look under the hood was all he needed to see. Uh, but before, you know, running, screaming uh, in, in, into the night. And when I use the word toxic to describe uh, Dulcinea, I have never call this woman a bitch. Uh, Maggie is not a bitch. Maggie is like I am, is a tortured soul. I mean, essentially what her YouTube channel is, she is in a full-blown manic episode right now. I mean, uh, you know, I've always been trying to figure out exactly what her uh, <coughs> personality disorder or whatever but she's certainly, like I am, certainly at, at, the, at the least of it, she's bipolar. So it, it's kind of weird. So I am down in this absolute dark black hole of depression while Maggie is, is, is up here uh, in, in, in the fucking clouds uh, on having this full-blown manic episode. I don't know how long. It's been going on for about 10 days. My guess is it will go on for another five or six days and then she's going to rip her whole channel down again and then you won't hear a peep out of her uh, for two or three months and she's she is going to go down into uh, a black hole depression like the one I am in now, but she will resurface uh, in a few months uh, with 30 videos per day. And uh, she's, she's basically, what she's doing, whether she realizes it or not, uh, she, is, she is basically just chronicling her own descent into madness, which is what I am doing. Uh, she and I are doing the same thing. You go on her channel and you will see uh, see an obvious and, and you know literal lunatic uh, and the you know this all flared up uh, over the latest full moon 
uh, this manic episode that she's in, you will witness somebody chronicling a descent into madness. Uh, so is she a performance artist? I don't know. I mean, she, it, it, her, her channel, she, you know, she claims it's, it's an art piece. She calls her, which is what Humpty Dumpty tribe is. Uh, so she and I understand each other on that level, uh, that we are both performance artists. And that is not saying, well, I'm not going to get off into a whole uh, performance, the definition of performance artist. Maggie and I, we are both performance artists. And, and, what, we, and what we are performing is we are chronicling for anyone who wants to witness what a descent into madness looks like. We are both going mad. I'm going down, she's going up. At some point we're going to switch, she's going to crash, I'm going to go manic. Uh, the difference is she doesn't, uh, she shuts down when she goes down. Uh, she, you, you know, she doesn't chronicle the uh, depression. What all we see on her channel is the mania. Uh, and I anybody you know, any psychology student. Um, so that's what's going on over on her channel, but, you know, as I watch these videos, and, and most of them last about one minute, you know, the, the main focus that I have is, is, is watching this woman uh, is what the fuck was I thinking on any single level? On any level with this woman. Why I thought, why I thought this was the person, uh, literally believed that this was the woman, that she was my soulmate. You know, as I've told the story many times, the, uh, the first day we met, uh, we, we had known each other for 30 minutes. And I looked right at her. And, and I met it. And, and, I, and I said, Maggie, you are the woman I have been waiting for since the day I was born. And I want you to be my woman until the day I die. And I met it, and, and, and I still met it two years later. For two years, I carried around this, uh, this, this idealized, romanticized vision. It, it, it had nothing to do with Maggie. Uh, it, it had to do with, with my, the, the only, just completely fictionalized, she was a, 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 a product out of my own uh, twisted, damaged mind, that I, that I built up this character in my mind, you know, projecting, it, it was me projecting uh, onto this woman that, uh, that, 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 that Maggie actually, that, that, that she and I were, were connected on, on, on some fucking spiritual level or, or, or whatever, and, and, and I spun this, just this outlandish fantasy inside my head about this woman. That, that she had virtually nothing to do with creating. Well, I, 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 I won't say nothing. I, I mean, her original channel, which has gone forever, her Maggie May channel, back before she really, you know, started on her serious uh, downward spiral into mental illness, uh, it, 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 it truly was genius. Uh, and 
So I, I, I took these tiny little scraps and I concocted this uh, fictional character uh, about her based on, 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 on the tiniest little evidence that I concocted uh, th 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 this unbelievable fantasy of, of this fictional character. And, 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 and I'm not knocking Maggie, you know. It, it, it's, it, it's, <coughs> it sounds like I'm trash-talking Maggie. I am not trash-talking Maggie. I have nothing but pity for Maggie. Uh, she is, you know, as she mentions two or three times a day, that she is suffering an existential crisis. That is exactly, she is in the middle of an existential crisis as I am. Uh, so I can still relate to her uh, on an existential crisis level, me from down here and her from up there at this point. At least this week, but but uh, you know, I'm 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 just watching with with each passing video, and I watch every one. It's like I am the only human being on the planet watching a lot of these videos. The only fucking human being on the planet. Maybe Kevin Shanholzer and Aaron. Uh, and Osama still tune in uh, every now and then. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, I, I am the only person watching her channel. I am the only person commenting on her videos. Nobody ever comments. I am the only person. It's kind of how we, how I communicate with Maggie now is through, is, is through my comments. But it's like with each passing day this week, <clears throat> she recedes farther and farther and farther out of my fantasy. So she at least has deconstructed, and, and I do appreciate it, Maggie, you have managed to, uh, to forever deconstruct the fantasy of uh, that, that, that I had built up around you. And uh, so now what, what it's turned into is that I, since I have all of this time on my hands with nothing to do, I spend, you know, I, I probably spent four hours uh, this morning between like 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. Just, just, just trying to analyze, like, 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 like Hambone, what the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck? How did you let your mind, your, your fantasies, you're, you're a grown fucking man, dude. You're 62 years old. You know, you're acting like some, some goddamn 14-year-old teenage girl. Uh, you know, having some fucking fantasy over, uh, over Elvis or whoever it is. Now, you know what I'm saying. Uh, just with no fucking basis in reality. Uh, there, there was exactly zero chance that you and Maggie ever had uh, 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 of getting together. She never had any intention. It was, it, it was, uh, there's this song, this song by uh, Chris Smither uh, called Winsome Smile, it, it, where, where he absolutely sums it up uh, for Chris Smither. What it is, he's talking to his buddy uh, you know, who is in love with a woman who has no interest in being his girlfriend. And, and, and my favorite line out of that song is, she ain't in your state of mind and she don't want to be. <laughs> uh, Maggie was never in my state of mind. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this video yesterday. She made about her fucking bathroom 
shower curtain. She, she made a fucking video uh, fuck it about a, a, a about a shower curtain. <coughs> I shit in a five gallon bucket for God's sake. Could you imagine Maggie down here shitting in a five gallon bucket? And um, you know, in 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 this goddamn music she plays, and I have no idea how Maggie doesn't get copyright violations. The the, the woman can put twenty videos up, every one of which uh, would be ripped down. You get three copyright strikes, and your channel's gone. Uh, anybody else on YouTube would lose their fucking channel in one day. She's put up like 500 blatant copy strikes. But anyway, other than some uh, some rare exceptions like Johnny Cash and unbelievably Lead Belly showing up, uh, other than Johnny Cash and Lead Belly, and, and I, this is a sandhill crane that you're hearing in the background. Other than uh, Johnny Cash and Lead Belly, I mean, 99% uh, uh, of this fucking shit that she plays and listens to. Uh, I call it uh, music to have a race riot by, is what I call the music that Maggie listens to, is, is, uh, is music to have a race riot by. Uh, within within one hour, uh, I would be throwing her fucking uh, stereo or uh, uh, up against the fucking wall, uh, and, and and just you know listening to these sandhill cranes, you know. So she has a bird feeder. And, uh, and she, uh, like every time a fucking cardinal shows up at her bird feeder, she has a fucking orgasm. You, you know, over a cardinal, or I guess a hawk flew over. I, I'm sitting here, down here, where she was invited to, uh, you, you know, come be me. I, I've got flo fucking flocks of sandhill cranes flying over. I've got hawks, probably bald eagles. Uh, good God, flocks of cranes. I've got, you know, real great blue herons, egrets. Uh, I, I've got great horned owls hooting at night. I, I have more fucking uh, bird life here in the Point Lonesome Swamp in five minutes than then Maggie's going to see at her fucking uh, bird feeder in, in her little suburban backyard uh, over the next five months. Y you know? Uh, <laughs> and, and I'm just thinking of the irony. But anyway, the, uh, the most bizarre turn of events since I realize I'm just talking to myself, is she has now brought her husband in as a character, uh, a minor player in, in, in her videos that she actually had a video featuring her husband uh, yesterday. You know, they've been married, what is it, 13 years? I believe they've been married 13 years and I finally got to see, and, and, and actually, and he actually had a speaking role in one of her videos yesterday. And, you know, actually seeing and hearing the man that Maggie lives with, uh, has been married to for 13 years, I mean, it just completely threw me for a fucking loop. I mean, she's actually shown me pictures of the guy before, but it, 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 was, it, it, it just didn't register, I guess, until this video. I mean, my mouth was down on it, you know, the, and, and, and just looking at this man and, and not knowing 
you know, watching this video of the two of them together, I was the only human being watch this video. It had no views. I was the only human being. It was like I was eavesdropping, uh, on, which is essentially what I was doing. So I always thought that this dude, particularly like Maggie, has two videos she dedicated to me uh, on her fucking channel. I, I just thought that he was like unaware of this channel. Well, he's not unaware of it. She, she actually is featuring him uh, in there. So anyway, the guy is, uh, he's 48 years old. He looks like he's 65 and he's this big fat uh, I, I, I mean, j just, just this, this big, fat, bald-headed, uh, whatever, uh, and I'm just looking at and thinking, what in the fuck, how did these two, uh, people ever get together? And she says in the video that he is a conservative probably voted for Donald Trump, that they, uh, she says <clears throat> that he balances her out, but, I, but I'm watching this video and, and, and not knowing, and, and I'm still just absolutely, I'm not going to deny that on some level I'm still uh, insanely jealous of this man. How did this man get that woman and uh, on one on, on one side of my brain and on the other side of my brain I had nothing but pity for this man like like how did that poor schmuck get stuck w w with this fucking lunatic but as I watched the video you know I'm thinking what what immediately became apparent <coughs> that I was that I was eavesdropping on this very sick, twisted, codependent relationship. That it's this, this obviously, you can tell just in this one video about how they're, how they're completely uh, codependent on each other. And uh, I'm thinking, oh my God. And, uh, of course, you know, he, pro he provides her with his beautiful home. Now, Maggie, to her credit, to her credit, obviously, uh, Maggie is in no mental state. There's no way this woman could ever hold down a paying job. Uh, she is way uh, too uh, beyond the pale to actually ever get out there and find a job to support herself. So obviously, I'm assuming it's this man, it's this man's money. I've never understood where Maggie gets her money from. So I'm assuming that this man uh, obviously pays the mortgage, buys her groceries, puts gas in her car, keeps her housed, fed, and clothed. And uh, I, I, I guess he's getting something uh, at, at, out of the deal, but it was just, it, it was just so fucking weird. But on one hand, I, I, I on one weird level, it, it feels like I, I, I feel better about their marriage, even though uh, although the question has been answered. What keeps them together is a very unhealthy, sick, twisted codependency. It, it, at least, uh, it, it, at least she's found somebody uh, because you know the guy. The guy is clearly her guardian angel. That if she ever loses him, uh, she's fucked. That that he is clearly. Uh, the the woman's guardian angel, and uh, so they have their beautiful little home up there in uh, in suburbia, and, and, and all I can think about is 
you know, that opening sequence to uh, Blue Velvet, that David Lynch movie. Uh, <laughs> that's the greatest five-minute opening sequence of uh, that and Apocalypse Now and maybe American Beauty. But the, the opening sequence to... Uh, To Blue Velvet by David Lynch uh, is uh, really summed up. That's what I felt like I was watching when I was watching that video. But I have to say the dude has much better taste in music than his wife does. He, she uh, <clears throat> asked him to pick out a music video since she doesn't get copyright strikes. <coughs> I'm not sure who it was, but I was actually quite impressed. I, I was quite shocked by looking at this dude. He, he, uh, I mean, he looks like just a completely clueless fucking moron, but uh, he actually picked out uh, a damn good video. Uh, a hell of a lot better than not counting Johnny Cash and Lead Belly. Uh, he, he, he was a hell of a lot more uh, intelligent uh, on his music sources. But anyway, uh, I, 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 and from the bottom of my heart, I, I, I wish them well, and I honestly believe that their, that their marriage is, is going, uh, while, you know, while I'm, I'm quite sure it, it is based on the most sick, twisted, black, codependency at least I, I I feel like Maggie is is being taken care of and as long as this man uh, is in her life uh, she will have someone to take care of her and uh, I do I am glad about that and uh, So anyway, I am, uh, Maggie, just keep on doing what you're doing with your videos, darling, and uh, obviously there's always going to be some weird uh, psychic connection be between me and Dulcinea, but uh, yes, little dog? But, uh, I really have to take a, a, a long, hard look at myself, just about, and, and, and it's already happening with another woman, I mean, nothing like with Dulcinea, but like I went out with this chick on Pile of Fish a couple of weeks ago. I had one date with her. One fucking date with her. And, and unbelievable all of this goddamn fantasy I was making. I, I have dinner with the fucking woman. And, and, and I'm already feeling myself uh, starting to, to, to have these little teenage girl fantasies about this woman. I know nothing the fuck about her. I, I know that she's not fat that she is a radical anti-masker. She hates Donald Trump. That's all I need to know. She's not fat. She's a radical anti-masker and she hates Donald Trump. And she told me she is trying to find a doctor who will agree to uh, tying the tubes on her 18-year-old daughter. Uh, <laughs> she is a breeder, unlike Maggie. But she wants, uh, so as soon as she told me that she wants to find a, do a doctor to get her 18-year-old daughter's tubes tied, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm already dreaming about this woman, and, and I'm not talking sexualized dreams. I had this, you know, this long dream about this woman uh, tomorrow, uh, this morning that, uh, you know... And it's like, here I go again. And, and, and this woman, she won't even give me her fucking phone number or her email address. She has no interest in me.
no fucking interest. We went out and had dinner. You know, I, I meet a woman who's not fat, who's an anti-masker, can't stand Donald Trump, uh, and and I'm dreaming about the woman. I, I, I'm making, I'm starting to make plans with her. Uh, I am not in her state of mind. She's not in my state of mind. She don't want to be. The only way I can contact